60 miles away on the Kilcher homestead, Otz Lee's uncle Otto Hello, and his son Ivan meet up at Otto's boneyard to resurrect a long lost family tradition. Today, I'm trying to find materials to build a sauna. I want to build a sauna because it's very historical culture. My grandfather always said how saunas really are the best way to bathe. Baths, he would always say, you're just washing the grime off your body. But if you sweat, you can pull it all out of your skin, and then you can use water to rinse it off your body after that. Were these what you were talking about, or those? Which one are you thinking about? Well, these trailers seem uh, pretty solid. Once summertime hits, we need to bring it to wherever the work is. So at the end of a long day of haying, you can take a sauna and clean up. And that means mobile, which means wheels. And uh, the easiest way to do that is just build the sauna on an old trailer. So these were built after World War II, probably for the Korean War. This was modern stuff back then. Well, these are a little small, I mean, but that's not bad. You know, our first sauna was about six by eight. Is that about what these are? Yeah. We got 17 of us in there one time. 17 people? <laughs> that must have been slippery. <laughs> you needed slippery to get everybody in there. <laughs> Back in the hippie days, huh? Well, our first sauna, that sauna burnt down. So I and I have been planning to build a mobile sauna for 20 years. You can take it from cabin to cabin, take it to the lake, you can take it to the beach. Being able to move it from one place to the other is the key. This one I'm sure works. Okay, well, I'm gonna hitch it up. Okay. 